Bluebeard burned everything. Why? I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Honest! Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all of Crane's stuff? He too must be guilty. I guess. Burning evidence. Okay, so one of these are probably gonna make me, you know, continue in the game progress and stuff. So I, I gotta, I gotta not pick that one first. Something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch of the trip trap? Just this. Yeah, and there was a glamour is, thing. To start, maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. And there was She's a glamour thing. Very disappointed. Good luck. And there was a glamour thing, but you didn't take it. Maybe it could have helped. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I have a... Uh seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Did you make an appointment? Because I can let you in if you want to wait. You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. I don't really think he likes me. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Otherwise... Well, it's nice working here anyway. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. Sure, I'll wait for them. I'm That's what I'll have to do. take a look around. Uh... Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's official Fable Town business. Don't worry. Right. Yeah. Indeed it is. So, uh... Okay. You know about this? Nah, uh, no. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. That is odd. You guys are odd. Flycatcher? Sure, why not? They've just been so nice, you know? I'd hate to mess it up. Don't touch. 
You should totally touch it. You should touch it. Huh. Would have been fun. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. <laughs> wow. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. D always tells me you have to be assertive. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. I guess. I mean, I, I get this. That's kind of funny, sending messages like that. When I'm in the train with my friend, we're standing right next to each other. We send each other text messages on the phone. That way none of us has to talk. We just type. Ah, oh, bow wow. <laughs> nah, it's, you know, it's, it's just jokes. It's just irony. It's just fun. I don't know, maybe. Let's see if they got a file on a crane. They do. But let's look at beauty. This is worse than I thought. Shit. I want to make those money. Brannigan. Who is that? Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Keep an eye on her. Why? Hmm. Donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, I'm not trust through. Trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Can I just look at Crane? Thank you. Thank you. I got Take to look at everything. Crane. He owes oh. the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. What, what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. I... I... That went really hey, fast. What happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I... 
I, I, I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Fuck. Damn. Well, that key you found should work. Huh. Oh, me, thank you. You just need to shout at people, then they... And they tell you everything they know. Once again, there's probably just one thing I need to find. Possibly this. So I'm gonna look at everything else first. As soon as possible. Crooked man. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? You know what? You you probably need it for someone else, like... Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. But, but... Like I wanted to say, you, you always need money. And then you're like, Oh gosh darn, I don't have any money. But now you do. Hey, Bigby. Do you think... After all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? Good. That would be... thank you. Come Did by you the business me? office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Uh, you seem like a nice dude. Oh, Snow's hair. Yeah. Snow White? Why... W we found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. So it does... Anti-Greenleaf. A-G. This is it. Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. Ah, I, sh uh, I knew it. I found it so quick. There's so much other stuff I could have looked at. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Yeah. So... I did... Uh. Hello. 
Hello. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. You woke up quickly. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? <laughs> Is she a witch, dear? Oh, no, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Is Crane in here? Nope. It's... Pretty rare to see a burner like this. Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. Well, congratulations. Oh, oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. The spider. That your mom? Uh-huh. Hmm. Do you like broccoli? Not really. I do. I love it. Yeah, I, I, lo I like it too. It's like the, the best vegetable stuff ever, man. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No counting for taste. Honky tonk. The... Frickety fuck is hungry tonk. Do you have any pets? Not technically. Not here. There's no one here but me. The the way you look, like your eyes and stuff. It the I want to go check this out. Ooh. Butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Si. See? Si. See, si, senor? I. Th I've. Uh, there's something about you, man. I don't like. I. Th I don't think I like you. Who is this bird man, anyway? Just a guy. Oh, oh, Crane, Birdman. Yeah, okay. How much longer do you think it'll be? I can have my mom call you later or something. Finished yet? Nah. Sometimes when I concentrate, I can hear the park animals' dreams floating in through the walls. Wow, oh, that's uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. The tree. Okay. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. 
It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. Keep getting whiffs on that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just uh, put that back exactly uh, where you found it. No uh, one is allowed to play oh, with it's that. You. Right, it's honey. you. Bigby's not going it's, to break it. You don't understand. It's her. It's she will freak out it's if her. she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. I'll be careful. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! You. Put it down! It's please, you. Please, don't! This isn't what you think! you got to believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's going to be okay, Rachel. Please, You're going to transform you. into an old I don't lady. Get in trouble. Am I right? Fucking called it. It hurts when you do it that fast. Huh. <laughs> okay. What? Not sprightly enough? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Oh, no, shut up. That. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is going to prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. There's nothing I know that would help. Just why, in the name of everything holy, are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Please. Crane is a murderer, and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. So he's not it the murderer. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's I... powers at work here beyond your pathetic Man. authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? No, okay, I do not. you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! Oh. How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? 
That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Indeed. So we're burning Bigby, the tree. This is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the Pudding and Pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the Ring of Dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Ah, fuck. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. You get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? A moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. Yeah. Hey, it's... It's better than nothing, right? I could have burnt the tree. Or I could have told Snow off, or whatever. But I'm not gonna do that, because I love her. <laughs> 